Hi, this is Paul Hamilton. What we're going to do here is we're going to look at the differences between the carbureted 912 and the fuel injector. You've already looked at the introductory for the carburetor engine. Now we're going to be looking at pretty much just the differences with the fuel injected engine here. Okay, now to start off with our, with our fuel system here, we've got our fuel coming into our fuel pumps here. This comes in from your fuel tanks, of course. Typically, typically in your fuel tanks you're going to have um, a screen and then there's a couple of other filters uh, somewhat coarse filters the same that would be in your standard carburetor gasculator engines your fuel comes into here we've got two electric fuel pumps right here comes out of your two electric fuel pumps there's no mechanical fuel pump like your carburetor engine two electrical fuel pumps comes out of here comes out of your fuel pumps down below, comes up here, goes through a fine filter. Now this fine filter is an additional fuel filter that's needed for your fuel injection. Goes through here, goes through your uh, fuel pressure reading unit, comes out here, goes on onto your fuel rail. Now, and from the fuel pumps on up here, this is all high pressure, comes high pressure through your fuel rail and you can see your fuel injector uh, unit here. This, this goes on, your, uh, your fuel goes along your fuel rail here. And we can see your fuel rail on over to this side here, onto your high pressure over here. This is where the fuel is delivered. And then we notice from, from your fuel delivery here, it goes back to our fuel pressure regulator. And this is, what, this is essentially what re is high pressure coming through here. And this is essentially what regulates this pressure in your whole fuel, sys fuel system to around 40 PSI. From here, it goes back and this goes on back to your fuel tank. So that's your, your fuel system. Okay, you notice we've got four, uh, unit, four units here, four, four probes going to your fuel injector system. Now these get a signal from your engine control unit and tell this when to fire the fuel down into your cylinders. That's what these, that's what these probes are. And you can see you got two per cylinder because you got two completely separate systems here for your fuel injection system. Of course you get the same on the other side. And you also notice here for your exhaust gas temperature you got one on every single cylinder here. That way the, the reading the readings from your exhaust gas temperature, your timing and everything goes into your fuel control unit and that that's what optimizes uh, everything here. So, so there's essentially your fuel system and of course you've got you know your, your two spark plugs here on each cylinder same as the same as on the on the carbureted engine. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at your air intake system. This is undone right here because this is where your air goes in from your flush inlet from your cowling here. On the outside, comes in through your air filter which is right here. Comes in through here, you can see your throttle valve right here which, which, which essentially opens, lets more air into your air box. This is where your, your, your throttle valve is, goes into your air box here. And you can see from your air box, it goes, your, your air goes to cylinders here. Now notice on the, on the back here, we're going to go to the other side here. We can see we have two separate temperature and pressure sensors here. We can see that a little bit better here, move that fuel line out here, that monitor the air temperature and pressure in our, our box here. All these run back into your engine control unit for your engine control unit to be monitoring everything and, and uh, uh, giving the optimum operation for everything. Okay, and as far as the electrical system goes, you can see we've got two ignition coils here with your uh, uh, electric coming in here for your signals and your spark plug wires coming out here. So we have, you can see you have two spark plug wires coming out here, two inputs for each one of these. We have these on each side so we have the so we have our two separate systems here. These of course go all the way back and you can see our wiring bundle going all the way back to our engine control unit which which uh, monitors and dictates everything we got going on here for your engine operation. And as far as the other part of the electrical system here, this is just like your your regular carburetor engine. You got your mags generators down here, whatever you want to call those, those come in here up to two separate voltage regulators. Those voltage regulators come into our fuse box. This fuse box is actually two separate fuse boxes uh, within one. And we can see all of our wires right here go through the firewall into our engine control unit, which is inside of here. It's a little box like that. You can kind of see that with the, the different Rotex. Okay, so there's your air system differences. Here's, we've got your fuel system differences, and we've got our electrical system differences, all controlled 
by our engine control unit inside of here. So there's your main differences between your fuel injected engine and your carbureted engine. Now, for maintenance, if anything goes wrong, the lights come on and the question is how do you figure that out? And how do you troubleshoot what's going on here? Well, what you, what you got is this uh, pricey little dongle here. This goes into your computer. This feeds into your, your system. Um, and this is actually inside here. Sometimes you, you need an adapter here to, depending upon how, on how your system is. Some it can plug into one. Some it needs two. Turns out this one needs two. But you plug this in and it can give you your diagnostics, which uh, are sometimes a little hard to understand, hard to figure out. Uh, However, the, your Rotex experts, you can actually send that in. They can help you diagnose. And uh, the Rotex support's been very helpful for me to read that and help diagnose exactly what the problem is here. Now, one of the interesting things that I've found throughout my thousands of hours flying with these things are these electrical connectors. Now, it turns out I've had more trouble with these electrical connectors um, oh, coming loose. So I've just taken uh, some of that that nice conductive paste and just put a little bit on here put that to, on, on all the probes here and that's made a big difference one of the things that um, that I really like about the fuel injected engine is that it, it although you do have this the, this dongle and this electronic figuring things out uh, it is a lot less work with a carburetor there's no real carburetor work on this thing at all um, you don't have to have carb heating anything like that and amazingly, it does run about 30% more efficient than your carbureted engine. That's what I've noticed, which is really, uh, I really like that because then I have to just be filling it up less fuel here as I'm flying people around. So, there you go. There are your differences between your carbureted and your fuel injected engine. Uh, just your basics to get you going.